Hi friends, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating a card for you today using the Vintage Ornament Layering Stencil Set. This is a set of two stencils from Honey Bee and it allows you to just create these adorable layered um, ornaments and they do really have a cool vintage look to them for sure. I'm working on my Waffle Flower Media Mat. This is the smallest mat and what I'm doing is I'm choosing one of the open areas on the stencil that's going to just create this ornament here on a piece of white cardstock and I'm just blending on some ink here using my Honey Bee blending brush and I will list in the description box below the colors of inks that I have used. And now you can just see that I've taken one of the uh, detail areas on that stencil and I'm adding a darker ink over top of the lighter ink by just using that layer to add that detail in. So it's just really fun to choose the different types of layers that you want on the ornament and really you can mix and match these however you would like and it's just really fun to create a bunch of really interesting little ornaments here on this card front that I'm creating by blending on the, these different colors of ink. So I really wanted to use some really soft colors um, or colors I thought that maybe were a little less traditional Christmas colors and so you'll see here when I'm all finished what I mean by that but definitely going with some pinks and greens and blues and it just I think it looks really cool when it's all finished so this one is going to be a couple of different colors of green layered on top of each other it's definitely easier to achieve um, the layered look when you start with a lighter color and then layer a darker over top and so here I just wanted to go with like a really dark almost kind of like an aqua green over top of that uh, initial layer of green that I've added so I'm just going in a clockwise and counterclockwise uh, fashion with my blending brush here just to add some ink onto this ornament and just creating the detail with this circle area <clears throat> on the stencil pardon me and so here you can just see now I'm moving on to the next area and I'm using the um, low tack tape there just to tape off the other open areas on the stencil so that I don't end up over blending into an open area that I don't want ink in and now you can just see again I've added that initial ornament layer and now I'm going in with another portion of the stencil just to create that detail and it's just so fun like I said to create these really interesting unique looking ornaments however you want with whatever colors of ink that you have in your stash and you can use all kinds of different mediums as well and you'll see that I do layer and a medium over top of these inks here in a little bit. So now I'm going up to this next area. I'm going to get the initial layer of the ornament down and I'm just going in with um, some greens again for this ornament up top. And this one's kind of a bell-shaped ornament. It's really cool. And now I'm just choosing some of the detail uh, area on the stencil to add in some detail in a darker color of green for that bell-shaped ornament. Going up into the top area now of my cardstock and I'm going to do a little bit more pink here. I'm trying to, you know, uh, repeat the colors somewhat in the different areas of the card front here. So I'm just gonna use, like I said, a little bit more pink here, um, doing a different shaped ornament up in that area again. And so this is the second layer going in with a little bit of a circle there. This one I wanted to have kind of like a little bit of yellows and oranges. Now I've got all of my stenciling done. I wanted to go in now and add some detail over top of the ink. And so what I'm going to do is go with the, the finer detail portions of the stencil. And I'm going to add a little bit of silver glaze medium. And this is really sparkly and shiny and it's just... I think really perfect for a Christmas card. And so I just really love that detail that these this little bit of medium adds to the different ornaments. And I do end up letting this dry in between going from one area to the next. So you'll just see here, um, I finished that little kind of a star print on that one. Just gonna show you an up close there. Let that dry and now I'm just gonna go into a different area. So it is a little bit of a painstaking process and I do use my heat tool to dry this um, glitter glaze medium uh, in between so that I don't um, mess up the glaze 
in between different areas. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm using a really shiny silver pigment ink to use through that stencil where the impression is of the, the string that uh, the ornaments are hanging from. I'm just going to apply that silver ink to each one of the different ornaments just to have that impression of that string. Now I'm also going to be using the Mary buzzword. And this is the Mary coordinating stamp. And I just love this. I thought this was a perfect buzzword for this particular card. And what I did was I cut the, the word Mary from some iridescent or I should say holographic cardstock as well as some white cardstock and then I cut the outline from some really pretty light pink cardstock. I thought that would look really nice with this card. I'm going to use my honeybee glue tube and I'm going to glue all of those different layers of that Mary buzzword together. So I'm going to glue the this first layer onto the pink outline and then I will layer the second white layer on top of that first white layer and then I'll finish off with that holographic cardstock on the top. The holographic cardstock just looks really pretty with the silver glitter uh, glaze that's on the ornaments and it just gives the card just a little bit of sparkle and shine and I just really love how that looks. I love holographic cardstock. I think it's so pretty and it definitely looks really nice on this project. I'm just going to finish up here gluing all these different layers together. Like I said with that honeybee precision tip glue tube. I love this glue because um, firstly the the tip on it is nice and fine and it does allow you to just wiggle things around a little bit to get them into the right spot which is pretty important when you're layering this type of thing because you do want them to be roughly right one on top of the other and so I am going to just wiggle these around a little bit and get them stacked nice and straight and even and then this piece will be all ready to place onto the card and I just thought I would put it in the lower half of the card and here you can just see that I'm going to do a little bit of stamping with the word Christmas and this is from the Merry stamp set so my sentiment is going to be Merry Christmas I've stamped that with some uh, embossing ink and now you can just see I've used some silver embossing powder over top of the embossing ink just melting that with my heat tool I will trim that out and that is going to look so nice with that holographic cardstock and then of course that silver glitter glaze that's on the card I'm going to pop up that Mary buzzword with some foam adhesive here and you'll just see me adding those foam squares onto the card and that is almost going to finish up the card I will add the word Christmas just below the Mary buzzword and I have also cut out that stenciled panel with my A2 scallop um, die from honeybee stamps and I've adhered that onto an A2 size top folding card and that is going to finish off my card today. I have linked up to all of the products in the description box below that I used for my project today. I hope you enjoyed this today friends and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.